have to go next week to do an HSG, a hysterosalp bingo gram I don't know but anyways the reason why I have to take it is because due to the endometriosis they just like to make sure that your fallopian tubes are ready for pregnancy they also check to make sure that your ovaries are ready I also have to have an ultrasound due to the endometriosis to make sure that the cyst that's on my ovary is okay and not gonna be bad during the HSG where they take iodine they place it inside with a catheter and it goes into your uterus and what it does is it goes through your fallopian tubes com comes to your ovaries and the reason why they are doing that is to verify that everything is clear and okay within your fallopian tube and your ovaries for pregnancy so that that way when they do insert the sperm my egg is able to find its way to that lucky little guy. Jamie said, I know it's not gonna be easy doing it alone, but there are single mothers that do it every single day. And of course, I don't know what I'm walking into. I kind of know what I'm walking into. Much like getting married to a stranger, you know what to expect, but you don't really know what to expect. The ordering sperm, they give you a whole onslaught of lists of sperm banks that you can buy from, but you just have to make sure that you buy the correct amount. Sometimes if the t sperm doesn't take the you know first couple times, I may want to try a different sperm because it could be the male versus me. I definitely can't wait to share with the full Mavs fam. I love my Mavs family. They are amazing people. I did share with Neil. In fact, we have dinner next week to discuss everything, but I honestly just see a lot of love for this baby and for what I'm doing. I think that I have the right people in my life to support me through this. I am actually going to dinner with Neil tonight. That should be interesting. And he already knows, but I'm just gonna bring the diary cam with me just because I wanna be on the opposite side. And plus, this will be the first time we've done a diary cam together since we were married. I just am leaving dinner and I had to break the news. I'm about to tell him again, but on camera. Well, hello. <laughs> right, there. <laughs> what do you feel about my special information? Oh, I feel great. Scary. And excited. You're gonna be a dad. <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah. by proxy, I am. <laughs> Which is very scary. No, it is really exciting though. Will um, you get me ice cream at three in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you can get a hold of me at three in the morning, yes. <laughs> at least you're honest. Good luck. <laughs> but yeah, I fully support what you're doing and I'm glad you included me. What if I named the baby Neil? That would be wonderful, actually. <laughs> you should go with Cornelius <laughs> as the name, and then Neil for short. So, more to come. Thanks, Neil. You're an awesome husband. Husband. Yeah, you know, was my husband. Great <laughs> so I fly out to see my family tomorrow, and I went to the doctor's appointment, and oh, my goodness, that hurt. What the HSG was is the most uncomfortable thing ever. So if you have to do one, it's not gonna be fun. They stick the catheter inside, which that part doesn't hurt. It's pressure. I feel like they use a clamp almost so that the catheter doesn't move. And then out of nowhere, you feel this hot sensation and burning. And it feels like some little freaking leprechaun is inside your body taking you over and being like, oh, you like that? You like that? <laughs> And the iodine is what they push inside. It hurt so bad. I screamed super, super loud. And then if that wasn't enough, I was like, oh, okay, I'm done, cool. Now I gotta go get an ultrasound. And it wasn't the ultrasound where they put the jelly on your stomach and start looking around, no. It's a freaking rod that they also insert. And I was just like, Jesus, can I at least get some dinner? because I'm definitely being screwed here. It was not what people were saying it was. Some people were like, it's just uncomfortable, it's not gonna hurt. That HSD hurt so bad. The other thing I did find out though is that my uterus is flipped. The doctor didn't say that it was a bad thing. It was fine, but it made it a little bit more difficult for them to stick the catheter in. She wasn't able to diagnose whether or not they were fibers or if they were cysts. I can't remember exactly how she worded it, but she said that the doctor would have to let me know, fingers crossed, that they are not bad sis. Anyways, like I said, I fly out tomorrow to see my family and I am going to tell my dad what my plans are. So when I get back, I just have to purchase the sperm and of course I'm waiting to hear back from the doctor. That's the other reason I haven't bought the sperm is because I haven't heard from the doctor yet just to know if everything is like on the up and up. 
drop a bombshell. Ready? So I've been getting my apartment ready because at the end of July, early August, I'm going to have artificial insemination. Now I have a baby.